Hey everybody, welcome back to Out of the Gate. I'm Justin. And I'm Max. And it's just us today. Just Wes, us. Wesson's not joining us. He's moving. He's, yeah, he's unpacking. Unpacking, yeah. Yeah. So we're missing him this week, but I'm sure we'll be able to come up with a pretty good episode ourselves. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. Um, so, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched Obi-Wan, that's coming up. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to put a timestamp yet, but... If I do, yay. If not, sorry, you're going to find out for yourself when to skip over. Yeah. So, um, well, for you Spotify uh, listeners, you're going to kind of figure it out anyways because you can't see the timestamp. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, what we got? Big news for the week. I feel like we should take a moment and recognize the uh, the shooting down in Texas. Yeah. And how awful it was. Um, but thank the Lord for that Border Patrol agent. Yeah, I was there. That he took a shot. And he grazed his head. You see, I seen a picture of his hat. His hat was torn up that he was wearing, but it grazed his head. But he's all right. Um, sadly, we lost a lot of people, and there are a lot of others in the hospital during this. So, uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to them and the families. Yep, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's getting it's getting to the point where. Um, it's sad thinking of, of course, we, I think we've already had a shooting since we've started the podcast, am I correct? Yeah, yeah. We, um, there was, was a, one. Or was it a school shooting or was it a... I can't remember. There I was thought one. we, I, there has been a, either a bar shooting or I can't even remember. Usually I'm real good at remembering our episodes, but I or can't. Or was it, it might have been when the police officer was shot Possibly. in Illinois. Because I, I think we talked about that, too. Okay. Yeah. Well, either but, way, um, I think it's sad. It's someone uh, someone that I watch a lot, um, uh, Conan. Yeah. He's brought up a lot on his podcast. That he, he, it, it brought up a really good point because if you watch The Tonight Show or any of them live shows that they've got, they we've had so many of these school shootings that they have a default like package on like condolences and that is really sad. It's it's sad that we've act, we've had so many like that that it's come to that point where they're like, okay, this is how we handle it because you can't just treat it like it's nine eleven anymore when right. every show couldn't do anything. Like Saturday Night Live didn't premiere or didn't shoot for right. almost yeah. a month because they were they didn't know how how everybody still was after 9-11. Yeah. But now, I mean, if we ever have something like that again, they know, okay, well, we're just going to have to brush it off and yeah, continue. Yeah, which is ridiculous. And, like... It's nothing bad on their part. It's just... It's we're, it's become normal. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying that's to get a, at. Yeah, yeah. That's a it's sad not, part. It's it. not anybody's fault that, oh, well... It happened. I mean, I mean, it kind of is like that, though. It's right. Oh well, it happened. Well, let's hope it doesn't happen again. But right. we all know what yeah. we're gonna do. Yeah, they need to start taking better security measures in schools. Whether that is getting a little political here, I think we should arm teachers. I know a lot of people don't. It's kind of a hot take, but uh, increasing police presence in school could be another thing. Hiring. Um, I've seen hiring disabled veterans as security guards. Yeah. Um, that would be great. You know, stuff like that. Uh, not propping open doors because that's what happened. It was a teacher, I guess, that propped open a door and that's how he got in. Oh, I had no clue. Or something I, see, like that. Here's the bad thing about me is I really haven't read into it. Right. I mean, I've only really... Only... That was, okay. That's a social media thing that I saw. Okay. I was about to say, I haven't read into I know the door any of was this. propped open. I don't know if that's how he got in. But um, they really need to make some some kind of increased security for this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. No matter, or depending on what form that takes, they need to fix this. Because it's putting our children in danger. Yeah. I mean, not only our children, it, but like last night when we were at the, we went to the PBR uh, show at the Ford Center last night, and I was 
for because you know I couldn't carry. I I was I was a little well, I was okay. a little freaked out being there. I couldn't have my pocket. Oh, Chase said a uh, uh, pocket knife can't be over a credit card long, closed. Closed credit yeah. card long. Yeah. See that I, that one actually worked. It. Yeah. Oh, my, I, I left it in the truck. Yes. Well, I left it in Kate. See that wouldn't that wouldn't do it. Right. right. And um. But uh, no joke. Uh, I think it was. I think it was during the national anthem. I heard a pop. Yeah, I heard a pop. I was like, "Oh my gosh, it's happening!" I was like, "I did." I heard a pop <laughs> during the national anthem. Everybody turned up like, "All right, what what uh, what uh, measures do we need to take here?" See, I don't think Molly heard it because I put I, my hand down and put on her because, like, I put, took my left hand. Like, my right hand was still on my heart or whatever. Yeah, well, and yeah, you were only a hand. section over from what, where I and I don't know right. where it came. It came from behind it me. It looked like up. Yeah, look, I figured it was up in the walkway up there. Yeah, I. I was when whenever I heard now I probably wouldn't have reacted reacted so badly. I mean I even like oh my gosh oh my I was right. like I was like yeah. I was alert like I, I was, was like ex- yeah. But like, I don't think I would have reacted like that if it was like let's just say it was where your mom and dad were. You get what I mean? Like right? It wouldn't, yes. It wouldn't right. uh, uh, take my attention as much as it because it was loud yeah. when I heard. Yeah, it. and it was. Pretty close to us. Yeah, I was just like, so and we're I, pretty I, close to the entrance. Yeah, because we're right. Yeah, we were right. You know, right first where the sec- stairs first is. sections right there. Yeah. So like, but uh, I heard it, and I like put my hand down on Molly. Like, was she not standing up? Well, she was, but like on like her leg or whatever, like not to make it a big deal. And I don't think she caught what I was doing because I was just kind of like making sure she's good. So like, if something happens, I can just shove her over. But um. Like, I put my hand down on Molly, and she just, like, grabbed my hand and started holding my hand. And I'm like, no, that's not what I'm doing. (laughs) (laughs) So I just don't think she was. Well, see, I'm glad I wasn't the only one that heard that. Yeah, I started started looking around, like, no one else reacted. I'm like, am I the only one who heard that? Like, I mean, there were a couple, like, a couple of people behind me kind of looked. I I instantly turned. I was like, all right, what? Yeah, I turned. I turned. I was, but, like. Um, Cheyenne and Spencer, I couldn't see Garrett, but Katie didn't react either. I'm like, mm. y'all not, I mean, okay. Um, I'm really glad I wasn't the only one that heard that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, not having, so, didn't have my keys on me, and I didn't have my pocket knife on me. I couldn't conceal. Yeah. I mean, I really, I felt really out of place with none yeah. of because I have my pocket knife with me all the time. I can, yeah. I could tell when it's not there. Right. I mean, and even or with something keys. like a pocket really. knife or like your keys, I've lost you my know, keys. like there's small, simple, what, like if realistically, if somebody came with a gun, you're probably not going to do much with that, but it's something you have. Yeah. You know, it's something. Whereas, you know, we're in this Ford center. I'm not caring. I always carry, you know, I know, I know dad's here and dad's not carrying and he always carries. So I'm like, I know, I know, like, nobody in there is, and none of us have our knives. You know, we have nothing. We're sitting ducks. Well, and here's the thing. I'm in not, nothing towards security or anything, but, um, Bush Stadium, I totally had my, I totally forgot I had my pocket knife on me. They don't allow any of that in there. Any really? of that. That's I, the Cardinal Stadium. Yeah. Right? Sorry. Yes, Cardinal Stadium. And I got through... The mail detector went off. They just said, "All right, you're good." Yeah. And I was like, and I and then I got upstairs. I was like, I was like, oh, I saw my pocket knife on me. But I mean, it's a pocket knife. But it's just like, right? They didn't question it. Yeah. Like, and the same thing happened at the Ford Center. Like, I was all they, say, all they, I all they said often... was, all they said was, "You have a pocket knife." I go, "Nope." And I just kept on walking, walked right through. It went off, and they said, keep going. I'm like, oh. Well, Okay, yeah. I thought you were going to want to, you know, pat me down or do your little wand or whatever right. the heck they, they wanded me. They didn't wand me at because all. Because I set off the metal detector. And they were I like, even had, like, a fanny pack. They were like, I have a fanny pack right now, and they didn't question that either, which That's was, weird. That is weird. <laughs> that's very... But, yeah, they, they were like, hey, just pull everything out of your pockets. I'm like, okay. And, like, I didn't even have, you know, anything in my back. I didn't touch anything in my back pockets. I didn't even have my hands all the way out of my pockets. And they just kind of waved the metal detector over my belt, and they were like, oh, you're good. And I'm like, I ain't even get the wand. Wow. Like, come on. Yeah. 
that's that was the other reason. Like, if they were more secure, I wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have thought anything of it. Right. The, the pop, but once I do, that kind of was like. Okay, and so once I got up there and then, you know, National Anthem, everything's quiet. Everything's quiet. Yeah. And I think if there were more going on, I probably wouldn't have noticed it either. Right. It, as loud as it was, it you really think about it, it wasn't that loud. It was just everything was quiet. Right. Everybody yeah. was quiet. Like, I even heard it and I was like, the thing that I kind of said to talk me down was, if that was a gun, that was a twenty two. So no one's shooting this place up with a twenty two. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, I know, I know what a bigger gun sounds like. That wasn't big. Yeah. That wasn't a rifle. That was that was a twenty two if it was something. So I was like, okay, I'm fine. No one's shooting this place up with a twenty two. We'll yeah. Be okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that was my that was probably the the big thing there that I noticed. Other than that, it was good. It, my, great rodeo. I, it, I thought bulls, it was great. I wish the bulls showed. up. Up. Yeah, I wish I would have stayed in there, honestly. But those last twelve you missed. They were so good. I wish I would have stayed in there, but uh my group I guess they've been to better rodeos than I have. This is my second one. The other right. one I went to was the four H in Evansville, which was yeah. like two weeks ago. Yeah. Week ago. Two weeks week ago. ago. It was last last weekend. It was last weekend? Yeah, yeah that's right, because thirty one. Um but yeah, I was like, well, we are a lot better than the ones I saw last weekend. Well, I think... They actually stayed off for more than eight seconds. Well, the the difference is... Well, and I know, they're they're like they're like college and the otters. That's, that's Right, yeah. The 4-H is the, is the college. Yeah. And this one was the otters. Yeah. And the next one up is... Right. I mean, this the is... The actual this PBR, is, professional yeah. or whatever. Well, this was this was actual PBR. It just wasn't the world championship or whatever. I just thought it was. Someone told me it was like there's there are different ranks in the PBR though. Oh, this see, was I chal- don't really. This know. was challengers, right? So this is right. What they're trying okay. to get up yes. into the professionals. Yeah, like, I think what so. someone explained to me. I think I think you're right. I think that these uh, so they were trying to get qualifying like stores D, to get into the D League or the G League. Yeah, I, I kind of think of it more like um, a a. I guess they were the XFL, whereas the Championship League. Do you is the even NFL. know what the XFL is? Yeah. Well, what what is it? Football league, bud. It wasn't just a football league. It was the W. It was. It was, it was I know. It was made by uh, WWE or whatever. Vince guys McMahon. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And guess where it went? And guess where it still is, even though they try to reboot it. Down south. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They try to combine wrestling with football, and it just yeah. flopped. It was not very good. But now it's just kind of become like the minor league football yeah. league. You know, I think that's kind of what it was. But the Bulls were there. Oh, yeah. They were Whenever mean. I saw that one jump like four or five feet high, yeah. went on like both, all fours. Yeah. Jumped like four. Yeah. I was like... Oh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, they were they were and rowdy the, too. They were rowdy in the shoots. They I were was, bucking in the shoots. Yeah, I was see, and that's the thing. I was like, they only got one horse in here. Like if oh. these bulls if these bulls would know the the actual strength that the that they have. Oh they Oh that horse had that. no that horse had no no chance. Oh no, that horse had no fear. There was that one bull that came up and stared at the horse, and they had, like, eye-to-eye contact, and that horse was just standing there. He's like, come at me. <laughs> yeah. It's a good, he was a good rider. Oh, well, yeah. He was, there was an actual cowboy. Boy, yeah. Yeah, he was doing he was doing tricks and stuff over there. I don't know if you noticed those. but I didn't. Yeah, he was doing some spots. I was probably eating. Yeah. <laughs> but he was doing some tricks over there with it. He was a pretty, pretty good horse. Pretty good rider. He didn't miss when he roped. That's for sure. Yeah, that that <laughs> I I was very impressed by that. He he didn't miss once. No. Um, but yeah, that one bull, the one that uh, didn't want to go in, and he roped up, and then the bull just laid down. <laughs> well, see, everybody thinks he just laid down. No, he he had him in between his hoof, and he yeah, and it was pulling, so it tripped him. And after it tripped him, he just stayed there. Molly was like, I want to pet it. I want to pet it. I said, no, you don't. <laughs> you don't want to pet it. <laughs> Not right now. That thing is angry. <laughs> That's the thing, though. It's like, 
They're not nat. I mean, they're, they're not, not like they're not like horses. Yeah, they're not naturally like that. They're not naturally angry all the time. They, they, right? They, they, yeah. They poke it in their head. Yeah. A lot of times the bulls. Once that's why. Get off of them, that's they, why sometimes they're so easy to get just to go right into the gate because they don't want to be in there. They just want to yeah. go. Yeah. Hang out in the back. A lot of times, once you get kicked off a bull, the bull's just like, "All right, we're done." When you know, you see them bronc riders though. Them horses come back with a vengeance. Those yeah. things hold grudges. Those those never seen those. Uh, uh, every every rodeo I've been to, it's just been bull riding. Oh really? Yeah. I love the bear. I will bronc. say for my for the price of my seats, I'm telling you what, I will I will go back there again. Yeah. How do you mind sharing? Twenty five dollars. Twenty five for yeah. Ours was I I paid forty eight for both of ours. For the both? Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, and I, we picked. Of I course, think, I got them like three days after, after. After I saw that, I was like, "Man, I feel like I got ripped off at the 4H. I really did." Well, you didn't go. Uh, no, you didn't I, go. The you went the bull riding. I night. don't care. I think I still get ripped off no matter what. Thirty-five and like, there's no, there's nothing else but just watching them. Like, there's no. You get on, you get what I mean. Like you're not getting as much out of there than you did at the Ford Center. That's true. That's true. I can see that. Like, I at liked. At the... least they drop hats from the ceiling. I mean, <laughs> someone got a free hat. Yeah, I didn't. I wanted one though. It was a free area. One hat. of them was like literally two two rows behind me. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude, caught one like three rows in front of me. I saw the hat. Probably, the hat was pretty sweet. Yeah. It was just red area logo, like a black hat, red area logo. But yeah, it was definitely a high production quality. Yeah, TV. I I was very impressed with with my seat, twenty five yeah. dollars, and it was very close. I mean, four H you can you can get close as you want, but right. that's the thing. It's outside. It was raining most of the time that we were there. Yeah, thirty five dollars. I mean, gosh, it. Right. I, I, I that's that's mean. that's why I didn't go back because I was like, I don't can't really. Aff- I mean, I can afford it, but I don't want right. to spend thirty five dollars mm. just to yeah I, sit out there in the rain. And then the parking was horrible. Yeah, the parking wasn't great. I did. I'm glad I didn't go Friday. I feel like Friday would have been a waste of money if I would have went. But when we went Saturday, that was everything else. Oh, you oh, know, you mean you mean four H? Yeah, okay. that was all the. Let's um, say you were you were working Friday. That was all the uh, the roping, the bronc riding, the you know, uh, barrel racing, which in the mud wasn't that great. I but. bet it wasn't. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying, dude. I honestly, I, mean, I know they're not going to cancel it, but yeah, Man, I, the mud kind of made it pretty cool. I wasn't. I wasn't into it. I was. I'm not that into it to pay that much. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, I see what you mean. Like it was my first one, and I was not impressed with it at all. I was more okay. And this is gonna sound bad. I was more impressed with the bulls stomping on the guys and kicking them than I was them the <laughs> the guys riding them. Yeah, the rider, the bull riders weren't any good. I saw. That. And one guy got launched the fence. I I stood up and clapped. I was like, "That's the best thing I've seen so far." <laughs> and then, George's like, sit down. And I'm like, what? It's the most interesting thing that's going on so Shit. far. It would have been bad that's to see horrible. the horrible. It would have been bad to see the riders at River City ride those bulls for PBR. <laughs> well, and that's the thing, is just like I was like, well, I told Cheyenne, uh, I was like, if I don't see anything that like if they don't stay on like eight seconds, they better at least get, you know. <clears throat> Messed up. Messed up. <laughs> drug, in the, drug in the dirt. One of them did. I know. And that's what I was so glad about. <laughs> dude, dude was just hanging on. I'm like, what? Go, bro. <laughs> well, it's You're just like, on the ground. I get, I get that you are on the ground, but if it was me, I'd be up like instant ready to get out of there. None of them seem to like care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. One dude ended up crawling out of the arena. Yeah, what was up with that? Did he break his leg? I think something like that. Because he didn't look like he fell that hard. No. I, I wasn't watched, one that I was worried I about. I was watching and I was like, what did, he, what did he land on to hurt himself? Yeah. I mean, I guess I could have missed it, but Molly pointed it out. She goes, oh, he's crawling out. And I was like, what? Him? Hmm. Dude got stomped on. One guy got stomped one guy on. Got, yeah, stomped. 
on his neck. Yeah, and it was, was bad. And, and he got up, like, he was fine. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like, see, now that's that's what I like to see. Yeah. Somebody gets stumped on it, they can't, and nothing, nothing happens. Man, them bullfighters almost earned their name, too. They they were a little, uh, they had to get in there on them. Oh, A couple yeah. of times. There was that one bull that was mad. Well, I still don't get how you guys didn't see, it. I I think it was like the second or third bull. The gate, the, the guy that opens up the gate almost gets, almost got ran over. Like the bull charged him in the gate. I missed that. Wow. I completely missed that. I saw the one. Like it, it, I saw the works. one where the the rope flew up and hit oh, the yeah. hit the gate guy in the head. Well, he opened up the gate and he didn't he didn't have time to like climb up with yeah. it. And he decided to run back and he didn't think the bull was gonna come after him. And the bull literally stood there and looked at it and then charged him. I was like and I thought it hit him. Like it, oh dang! It, it, I thought it pinned him, but Whew. I couldn't see from my angle because it I could only see so far in there. But yeah, and some and of they were actually just... they were actually wondering if they could see it on replay because they said, "Well, that's that's gonna be the most interesting thing of the night." Yeah. <laughs> this might just be my ignorance for PBR in general, but I didn't realize how many Colombians there were that ran uh, that did it. I was surprised we had a Brazilian there. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's what I meant. Brazil. They were from Brazil. Yeah. Not Colombia. Yeah, no, they were Brazilian. That's right. There were a lot of Brazilians there. Yeah. And I mean, I guess I just, again, I guess I'm just not that used to, or I always educated in PBR, thing. but I, I always thought that rodeo was like a very American thing. It seems like a very American yeah, thing. Yeah, but I guess football is all we got. Yeah. And baseball. Oh, wait. Canada plays baseball. Canada plays football, too. Yeah. But is that football, though? I mean, really think about it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to hit you there. <laughs> you want a donut? <laughs> you have a donut. Oh, shoot. Just turn off the lights on. <laughs> All right. You wanna That's get a How the... I Met Your Mother reference if no one understood that part. <laughs> you want to you wanna get to the oh, memes right, and, the memes? and then we can okay. go into some of the nerdy stuff? Yeah. All right. Here are your memes. Coming in hot. All right. Uh, hail hydrant. <laughs> if you don't understand that, that is the enemies of the Avengers. Yes. When you realize that Anakin made both C-3PO and Luke Skywalker, making them half-brothers. Huh. Oh! You saw the C-3PO. Sorry. Never mind. Never mind. We'll talk about that. Why are people really thinking Multiverse of Madness was the first time John Krasinski appeared in the when he has also been Ant-Man and the Wasp and WandaVision as Jimmy Woo? I saw that. <laughs> I saw one with that. It had uh, Jimmy Woo and then it had uh, Mr. Fantastic and then it had the picture of Dwight saying, Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> Someone actually found it. Whoa. That dude's a legend. See, you would think that, like, you you think that some of that stuff, someone just creates. Yeah, like, I would draws. think I would be. But no, it's legit. Wow, stuff. that's neat. When you've got something interesting to say, but the topic just got changed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What episode is that on? Is that a... I don't know. I can. I want to say it's the auction, but or or the roast. It's one of those two, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I they're in the they're one. in the storage or the the conference room. No, yeah. is that the con- that don't look like the conference has yellow or tan walls. That looks yeah, more maybe like it's the not. Um, warehouse. Oh, it might be in the warehouse. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be something Brandon had to come up with. A uh, big fan of this picture of a veterinarian showing cats how fat he is. <laughs> Whoa, I guess one dude quit. Four guys? Nah, it's all good. He came back. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. I just leave that. Yeah. You, yeah. You'd think. <laughs> I mean, that, that should be their next, their next update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cut it down to the Roman numeral. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. 
GameCube, Dreamcast, Xbox, PlayStation. <laughs> Dude, Dream, is Dreamcast even a thing anymore? I don't. It can't I don't be, think. Right? I don't think it is. I think it's just down to these two and like PC. Well, well I guess, I guess Nintendo. Dreamcast is, huh? Nintendo. It's not the GameCube, but yeah, Nintendo's still in it. I, do we? Do you? Re, okay. Now here's a hot top, or here's a hot take. Do you count? What do you count the Switch? Do you count it as a console or a uh, portable? I would consider it a console. Why? I okay. May okay. The oh, Switch Lite. Dang. Oh, hold on. We'll just get into that later. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Know that, I didn't know there was going to be a big thing. Okay. I was expecting like a solid answer. But I don't know. I got to think about that. I don't have a solid answer. Well, then you can think about this as we go through this. All right, Xbox, PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, PlayStation 4. <laughs> Twix. <laughs> That's Twix by Twix. <laughs> Can we just talk about how bad Xbox is at naming their consoles? Oh, my gosh, dude. Just go with Xbox 2 and Xbox 3. Yeah. I mean, it's not that hard. 360, 1, X. <laughs> it's an Xbox just, X. Just... Just name it 720, then what after that? 360, 720. <laughs> oh, and then, did you see this? Yes. Marvel sign. Oh, so this is actually a hot topic. I get, Well, not really a hot topic, but you know, I guess kind of. Kind of like uh, Marvel signs stuff. a deal to have CGI Stanley appear in his future films. In, in his. In future films. I don't like it. What? Okay, here's my thing. They should at least put a sign or, like, a photo of... Yeah, I think they should incorporate him in some ways. I think... I, I don't understand why they didn't think of that before, like, like photo yeah. or a video playing in the background. Yeah, right. Like, I think they like should that. definitely commemorate... Have some sort of uh, way to commemorate I'm, Stanley. I'm, I yet. will say I'm very interested in how they're going to do that, though. Yeah, my thing is, who who's gonna play Stan Lee? Is my question. Who on this God Green Earth is gonna play Stan Lee? Who can impersonate that man so well? Oh, nobody. Exactly. Nobody. But I have okay. You watch the Last Jedi. Yes, Leia. It's weird. It's weird seeing Leia on screen because Carrie Fisher was dead. Most they of that, or, but they killed her. Before, so most most of what she did in the Last Jedi, she didn't film. It was CGI. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. No. Yeah. Last Jedi. Yeah. It was well, Last well, Jedi when she died. Right. No. No. It was, it was the next one. It was uh, no. Last Jedi was the last one. Oh my gosh. No, it was uh, Rise of Skywalker. Yes, Jeez, thank that's you. That's what it's called. God, Good night. Dude. We're about to talk about. I don't Obi-Wan know Kenobi. why we couldn't think of that. That's what I meant. Rise of Skywalker. But they killed her all. They, from what I understood, because I even read into this, they shot everything they could, and whenever she died, they killed her off right then. They were talks of her doing CGI, but from what I understood, they killed her off as soon as she died. I think and that's some why she of died. The, like so, I think some of the scenes were. Were CGI is what I thought. I could be very wrong. I think it's just the I way thought. the makeup was. To be honest, with you. that's what it looked and like Grant, to me. Like uh, and um, and what's what movie? Uh, Rogue One. They have Grand Moff Tarkin in it. It just CGI like that is it's weird, you know, because he's dead. You know, it deeps really hard into the uncanny valley. Like he's not here. That is not him. So it's hard to get for me to get into that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think I don't know. I don't think it's disrespectful to him. I think I've seen people say that that's disrespectful. I don't, I don't get how that, that is. I wouldn't call that disrespectful what? at all. I'm trying to. I just think it'd be a little what, weird. What would you? How would that be disrespect? I'm not getting that. I I don't know. I don't really get how it is either. That disrespectful. They're, you're you're carrying on someone's. Old- yeah. Legacy? Right. I think for someone like... Um, he doesn't have a major role in the film. Never. He doesn't... He's, he's, he's only going to be, yeah. be on for like less than a minute. Yeah. I mean... And it's a cameo. That's and why it's Stanley. Okay. He that's, means so much. That's you why know? I'm okay with it. Because 
his part doesn't lead to anything big. Right. It's it's a fun Easter egg that's just right. so fun, like the Howard the Duck in yeah. Infinity or Infinity War and in then, game. Yeah, and he's on for like two seconds. That's right. the best thing about that, and that's why it's so loved because he's only on there. It doesn't lead to nothing. Right. It's just a. It's little just a nod good to the fans. Yes, a good nod yeah. to the fans. I think now if they were to bring back in uh, CGI Carrie Fisher in a new movie, I think that would be wrong. I think I could find that disrespectful. No, it, no, Rogue One came up before. I was going to say now you, what you may be thinking of is Rogue One. No, end. not young, not young Carrie Fisher. Okay, not no, no, because no. that but was weird. If um, and like young Luke right now. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, that CGI is not very good. I can't stand it. Dude. It's weird. It's so weird. It's weird. So I just if they do it, I really want them to not make it weird. Well, you gotta remember it's also Marvel, so they really take pride in their CGI. That's true. That's true. Have you seen Black Panther? <laughs> I no. love that movie, but the CGI in it is not great. I don't really watch it. Um, Black Panther is not one of my favorite. I mean, he's not. Well, how do I say it? He's not. He's not one I grew up with, so I don't watch it as much. Canceled. You don't like him because he's black. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, just kidding. Just kidding. That is not why he doesn't. No, no I just, know what you I mean. Know, yeah. I, yeah. I ne- honestly, I never even heard of him until that, till Civil, Civil War. War came out. Yeah. That's just how it was. Right. Other than, okay, I take that back. I got heard of him because he's in Marvel Alliance. Oh, okay. But I never played him. Yeah, I like, you didn't grow up with him. guy in care. a suit. That's all he is. Like, right. That's just like Moon Knight. Moon Knight, the only reason I know him is because of the video games. And he looks cool as heck, but... Right. But... Yeah. Anyways, we're going into a rabbit hole. We are, we are. Um, we got, like, 20 minutes left. All right, well... Okay, so my thought on the Switch. Okay, okay. let's okay. see what it is. So, you know how they have the regular Switch... By the Switch. way, I'm so glad they came out with sports now. Yeah. I'm, uh, it's actually... I'm, Actually, considering of buying a Switch Net just because you know of how game. they have a Switch and then a Switch Lite. No. Oh well, they have a regular Switch and then they have Switch Lights. Well, I have a Switch Lite. What? Okay. Is there an actual difference other than the DS and the DS Lite? Um, it's smaller. It doesn't connect to the TV. The Joy Cons don't come off. The the so Switch a, Lite is so a handheld. It's a PSP. It's pretty much PSP. Oh my gosh! Pretty much a PSP, <laughs> but just way better. Um, I don't know, dude. You ever play PSP? I mean, that, that thing it was, was it great. wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. The little but, disc. Um, yeah, that was, it was cool. It was really cool. But uh, so I would consider the Switch Lite a handheld. I think I would consider an actual Switch a console. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really have a good reason why. But I think I would consider it a console, not a handheld. You know why I consider it a handheld? Why? Because it's sponsored as a handheld. Kaboom! You've been lawyered. Yeah, it is, isn't it? They do say, <laughs> oh, handheld console. <laughs> I'll take it. You know, like I said, I don't, Boom! Have a real, lawyered. <laughs> I don't have a real reason why. I just, I see it as a console. Because it, it, it's, it's full, it's full, a fully fledged thing. Well, see, what's funny is they give it, they give it that, that console feeling, but then they all, but they sponsor it so much as a handheld. Right. Because every yeah. commercial that you see it, it's not connected into the TV. Yeah, at they really all. don't ever do that. I do like playing them when they're connected to TVs. I I played them a couple of times, and it's at the Williams because they've got like five yeah. or seven or of them. How how. However many they have. I think Switch, they never they're really cool Mario consoles. Kart. Them kids never want to play Mario Kart. And it frustrates me because I would love to just, I could yeah. like kill them at it. Yeah, no. They always want to play like Fortnite. I'm like, come on. Fortnite. That, I played Fortnite. What happened to Nintendo sticking to its own games? Well, I think they mostly do. Well, not that I've seen. They're allowing Call of Duty, 2K. Well, I'm, but they still have their own. I mean, back in the day, for some they ladies. that was actually considered a Disney game at that time because they actually did. You read on it, that was actually that was. But a they deal. also made that for everybody else. Mm-hmm. Force Unleashed was on everything else too. But you see what I mean? Like 
not all Nintendo systems only play Nintendo made games. Yeah, but looking back, the sixty four did. Sixty four did. That's for sure. Oh well, no, I take it back. No, it wasn't because you had Mortal Kombat. Oh, you did. You did. See, so like they have other games, I guess, but I get. Oh, I'm I'm thinking it's the other way around. You can't play Nintendo games on anything else. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Right. Of. Yeah, you can't play Nintendo games on other. Well, consoles. I just shot myself in the foot on that. On well, that's that all point. right. Darn it. It's all right. Honest, honest, honest. Flipper. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. Uh, all right. So. Uh... What do you want to talk about now? Oh, we want one. Okay, go ahead. I loved it. Okay, me too. You loved it too. Okay. Oh well, yeah. Okay. I was, just more, sure. I was expecting a hello there from I really whenever the like, Jawa came yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting it from. You think them. they'll ever give us that? They will. I know they will. <laughs> they will. <laughs> I uh, they had the celebration Friday. The whole the huge oh, convention. Yeah. Like, it sold out, like, the whole Cowboys arena. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that was... Um, yeah, they announced... And they, both him and... Uh, uh, holy cow. Hayden Christensen. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, they both showed up, and, and he goes, Hello there! Yeah. <laughs> and the place erupted. Yeah, like, they like, dropped the trailer for Andor, the Cassian <sighs> Andor series, which I know you're not going to like because you didn't like Rogue One, but... Um, <laughs> I thought it was really good. That better, I swear. If they do the, do more episodes of that than Obi Wan, oh, I'll be mad. <laughs> I'll be mad. It's not gonna look good. I'm, well, I'll be mad. It might be the only thing. Well, I've never watched Solo either, but it'll be like one of them things I will not watch. Solo is trash. That's why I never watch it. I knew it wasn't. It I, is I knew so it was. Bad. I knew it was gonna be trash. You know what's not trash? Obi Wan. We need to stop getting distracted. Um, so good. Oh. So, before we get into that, I did read something into why they, because they actually considered not, I guess they were, they proposed this like five or six years ago. Really? If it was actually going to be a movie. And the reason they didn't want to do it is because they, because I guess whenever those, the prequels first came out, they bombed and they were getting heavily criticized. But the reason they were okay with it now is because they've reckon they're getting recognized so much, mm. and because our generation we yeah. grew up on them, right, right. And so they're they're seeing more of us loving those, yeah. And they're and that's literally what Hayden said. He goes, "Everybody loves me now, and that's why <laughs> I'm giving back." And I just think that's so cool. Is that it is all that they they felt so hated, but yet. Yeah, they didn't know how loved they really. I think really the are. stories of the. Oh, I think this is. I think it's something we needed. The Clone Wars era stories, and you know, post Order sixty six, right before. Oh yeah. Right before New Hope, I think those have the most interesting stories. Yeah. That's why I like the Clone Wars animated show. There are some interesting stories. You do. In that. Yeah. Do you not? No, I I just remember. Y- we used to have fight over this so much because we I did. tried to we get did. you to watch yeah, it. Yeah, and like, I wouldn't watch it because I thought no, it was stupid. It's animated. Yeah, I, I and wouldn't watch it because it's stupid. And, you, and I always told you, but it takes place like in between movies. Yeah. And you're like, I don't care. I think it's stupid. They, yeah. If they want to do something like that, it should be live action. No, like, I, I will say that Younger Me was definitely wrong. I really liked the Clone Wars show. Oh, especially the one with. Uh, Six and seven. Oh, six and seven. I think it's got the best storylines out of the whole series. Oh yeah, yeah. Darth Maul With coming Maul. back and yeah. really like showing. I know. See, that's the thing that I hate. And even though I'm gonna say this, I still won't. Uh, not reading the books. I think really. Yeah, I don't want to read the books. See, but see, there's so much in them. I guess is that like I didn't know that there were chips inside. Oh, the clones. Yeah. Okay, I, didn't I know, did know that. I did not know that till the series showed that. Oh, really? That's why you I didn't was, know. That's why I had why. no clue. I just thought, oh, it's something that they were just born with, and uh, I oh. never knew that there was an actual chip to like activate. Okay. I had no the clue. order, the order sixty six thing is what he's talking about. But then about. after I saw, like, oh my gosh, that makes sense because Palpatine ordered so many of them troops. 
without the Jedi Order knowing. That yeah. makes so much more sense. Oh my gosh, how did I not know this? Yeah, it does clear it up a lot. And it also clears, and then the Bad Batch clears up a lot of the stuff that I've always argued you about with the clones not being clones and all of that. I do love the Bad Batch. <laughs> and if Batch. it wasn't for that series, I probably still would be arguing <laughs> with you with that right now because uh, even in the books, they don't. They don't say about Camino getting destroyed, right? But that's the best thing about these these shows. Now they're explaining everything that yeah. was unexplained. Yeah, and all the really the cool prequels, stories. the originals, and the sequels. Which is what I'm really, yes. which is what I'm really excited about. Um, Obi Wan showing him and Leia together. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's gosh. showing. It's him almost and Leia. like that girl that that girl actually like stayed with. Uh, Natalie Portman, dude, actually, I know. I mean, it was almost spot she on. She is I was spot like, on. Goodness. She's such a good Leia, but um, just, I think it's really cool because, like, in the in the in the original trilogy, you see him, and you know she sends the Obi Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope mm-hmm. message. But you're like, okay, but why? Why would you think that he's your only hope? Yeah, you know what I mean. But this is showing. Well, this is showing her. Learning and learning to trust him as a Jedi and protector. Wait, can you re- rewind. What say that again? You were wondering why. Like, why? Why is she so trusting of him? You know. Okay, that's a lot more put because yeah. she actually explains why. Right, right. <laughs> she, but like, you you started with my dad. I'm like, that, that explains a little. But bit like, right why there. she's so trusting to say you yeah. specifically are my only hope. She's not trusting because now we're seeing him. Save her and take care of her and protect her. So, knowing that there's only six episodes left, I I hope they don't explain it, even though it needs very, very much explanation or a lot of explanation. Yeah, uh, of why Owen doesn't like Obi Wan so much. Yeah, I don't know. Did I miss something? I, I didn't were, know Owen okay. hated him. They they were okay in number three and yeah. number two. Yeah, I so, didn't know Owen hated him. Something's happened, and like I said, there's only four. They cannot waste any episodes no. trying to explain that. And they I really can't. Th- I think he kind of dropped a little hint of it when he was like, "Oh, the bo- when we you said when Obi Wan was like you said when he becomes of age or when he starts showing, I can train him." And then Owen was like, "Oh, like you trained his father." I thought that was. I'm like, wow. What a low blow. <laughs> I think that's kind of, I think that was kind of them trying to be like, yeah, no, stay away. You know, this is why Owen's not trusting of him or whatever, but he still didn't give him up. You know, I was, re- I mean, I, I kind of understood that part because I mean, he, he, I mean, he has no choice. I mean, yeah. But then he says, not, it wasn't for you. I'm like, you know, who was it for? Who, who else is it for? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that was exactly and then, just But that's for the thing, him. too, is like, he could have said the other guy easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My thing is that, like, how did that guy find him? Which guy? Oh, how did the, the yeah. Jedi? F- what was his name? I can't remember. His I, name. I don't know, but. I remember the fake Jedi's name. <laughs> Haji. Oh he was gosh. hilarious. I love. I him. cannot believe <laughs> I that man him. got himself. And he's always talked about how he's tried and tried, and that man finally got it in there. I don't know it, his name, but I love him as an actor. He got it in there as a comedic. These comedians are getting into this show or into these shows. I don't understand it. I like it, but I don't understand it. <laughs> I know. Like They're Bill like, Burr. Please, Bill Burr literally did a whole segment. On his on his tour on how much he hated Star Wars and he's playing in Mandalorian. <laughs> I don't get it. I I don't know. I like it. I liked him. He was a good character. Bill I thought Burr? it was cool. Uh, or no. The, uh, yeah. What I, is his? His name on the show was Haji. Yes. Um, I think so. If it's not, then that was just really was, racist. Was, my thing was like, I was like, oh well. Yeah, he's not a real Jedi. And I knew it from the very... Right, yeah. You know he's not playing tell. a real Jedi. And I was like... Man, he... Oh, and Obi-Wan got mad. I'm like... Huh, okay. Oh, so... As we're getting into that, though, you're wondering... Have you rewatched it? The 
bounty hunter scenes and all that? I haven't. Okay. He shoots one, right? Right. Okay. He sh- there's two. There was the okay. one on the rooftop. There are two on the rooftop. Okay. There are, but then there was one on the roof with him, with Obi-Wan. No, that was the one way over here. It made it look like that. Oh, okay. So okay. As he as he go as he's going, you see him shoot behind and he hits him. That's why oh. they stop shooting. Okay. That makes sense. Because that was one of my only gripes about it. And then well then you said how'd he just appear? Because I would kinda like that too. I'm like, oh well, he could have Jedi jumped. Well, yeah, no. My thing wasn't that um how he got down there so fast. My thing was he still has these bounty hunters after him. But if he did take care of the bounty hunters up yeah. there, then that makes sense. Yeah. Then I'm good. Oh, did you see the C three PO cameo? Oh, you were they're at the party? Yes. Yeah, when they're at the party. I was like, wait a second. And I looked at him, I'm like, no, that's just another droid. And then oh I saw God. the gold leg and I was she was the silver leg. She was I tell you what, Leia was firing shots all the way around. Oh, at her cousin, dude. Oh, my gosh. She, goes, she was going you, why, in on her why, cousin. Why do you – what was it? Why do you think they're robots? They're their lower life form. You don't have I – mean, I guess I shouldn't be polite to you. Like, oh, my <laughs> gosh. And then, then they explain she's only 10. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah she's only 10. <laughs> the actress, while extremely good, and I do not want anybody else to play her. Who? The, for Leia. Yeah. Is young to be 10. She doesn't look 10. I think she looks more like 6 or 7. Yeah, but okay. I can get I past say, that. I thought you were about to say older than Mike. Oh, no, no, no. No, I, she definitely doesn't look... I think she looks younger than 10, but I can get past that. That's fine. Obi-Wan no, she, and... Her acting lives up to it. Yeah. I don't care. By, um... By what? Nine, ten, ten more years? Uh... You and McGregor are supposed to look like Alec Guinness, so <laughs> that's what he said. I'm like, what? No, he said he's gonna be the same age as Alan McGinnis. Yeah. How old is he? he's that? I thought Alan McGinnis was like fifty. Oh, I didn't mean the actor. I meant Obi Wan, the character, is gonna go within a ten year time span. Is gonna go from looking like he does right now to how he does in the original trilogy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I'm okay with the aging looking meant. weird. I can look past that. I don't know how that would work. I'll look past it. Ten. So that he, would, ages, he has so a really bad ten make, years. That would make Luke twenty years old. Yeah, he's nine, nineteen. No, twenty. He'd twenty when he destroys the Death Star. Now, and if he's saying yeah. in a time ten years from think, then, that's twenty years old. I don't know the exact I was timeline. Not expecting so. Luke to be that young, that. I think old. he was twenty. Twen- hmm. Hold on. How old was Luke any- at oh my the gosh. Battle of Yavin? This is the one thing that Star Wars is so. The writers for Star Wars are so, so freaking bad at is with the ages. So he's like- not. He was born nineteen BBY, which is before the Battle of Yavin. So at the Battle of Yavin, he was nineteen. And this show takes place uh, oh, ten BBY. The- Yavin's the snow place. No. No, it's the Death Star. Death Star. So he's he's 19 when he destroys Death Star. Okay. More or less. He's what? 19. Gosh. Yeah. That don't make any sense. No. He's so See, young. And, and he doesn't look young. It's the exact same thing what I said. I think it was like our first second episode of this podcast. With Solo. Solo, it dates from way back when. So either way, this screws up so much. That solo film screws up timeline wise. Timelines on characters' ages mm-hmm. because if it if it's going by when Darth Maul is still alive, that means he is the same freaking age as Obi Wan. So he should be looking like Alan McGinnis in that in right. Hope. Uh-huh. So that would make Leia almost like 20 years younger than Han Solo. Right, which is weird. No, there's so Star Wars does a lot of things right. One thing they don't do is ages. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, no, they, they screw with the ages a lot. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but the C-3PO cameo, I think I saw that in the party 2 R2 cameo, but I missed R2. 
In which episode? The same, same episode, same party as C-3PO, same shot. I, I saw, I saw there was a like silver looking R2-D2, but I don't think it was R2-D2. I had seen somewhere that there was an R2. I can look it up because I missed it when I was watching it, but I did catch 3PO. I, I saw 3PO and I was like, oh my gosh, well, of course. Yeah, I was like, oh look, it's a protocol droid. And then I saw the, the silver leg and I was like, oh, that's C-3PO. <laughs> and then I saw the other protocol droid. R two D two cameo in uh, Obi Wan series. Um, yeah. So this is from Screen Rant. Here's Miles of Stars quick cameos using McGregor, Christian Hayden returning. Blah blah blah. Already know Obi Wan. We're heavily focused on the characters and franchise past. Uh, Obi Wan was a Master Jedi. Oh my God, really kidnapped series, play surprising a big role. Um, sucking cam. Okay, it's during the exploration of Leia's life on Alderaan, though that the series is snuck in cameos from the franchise's most popular droids. Obi Wan's R two D two and C three PO cameos occur at different points in the show's first episode. They're not shown on screen at the same time. C-3PO's appearance comes first as he's seen repeatedly in the background. The best look at 3PO comes blah blah blah. Uh, I guess I'll have to meanwhile, R2's cameo in Obi-Wan comes a bit later at the 3845 mark of the episode. He's briefly shown on the right side of the screen as Bale and Bale's mm. wife talk yeah. about Leia. I will have to look at that again. Yeah. Um, I will say... So I missed the R2 cameo. So you're... So you're... Your whole thing was the Obi Wan, which we got that resolved. My thing that I didn't like about the first episode was the the pirates chasing after Leia. Easily could have caught her, like a branch. A branch stopped them. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! It should have been a lot easier to catch a ten year old. Three three people, <laughs> adults. Yeah. Bounty going hunters. after bounty hunters. Going after a ten-year-old, going year after old a girl. ten-year-old in a and branch. A what was it? A branch stopped them. Um, it was like a small branch. Yeah. At that, like they couldn't climb over things. It was no, like yeah. what on earth? That did take a little bit of time for them to get her. <laughs> then they shot. They shot. They shot. That someone. was the other one. My other thing, or no, not they shot somebody. Never mind. Keep going. They shot somebody, and it's just like, no one else heard that? I mean, there, right, were, yeah. there were three more guards out there. None of them heard it. Nope. That's, I was like, okay, I, I'll, I'll let that one pass. That's, yeah. But everything else I thought was okay. My other thing they'll have to explain, I'm all right with it happening, but they have to explain it, is them seemingly killing the Grand Inquisitor. Because he's not, I... he's not dead. He can't be dead. He's in Rebels. And Rebels takes place after Obi Wan, so the Grand Inquisitor isn't dead. Wait, which season was he in, though? I think all of Rebels takes place after this. No, first first season doesn't. Yeah, because um, I don't think the first season. No, does. because Kanan, Kanan I think it's Jarrus, the middle of it. Kanan Jarrus is uh only a little bit older than Luke and Leia because he was a kid in the temple. During the during Order sixty six, so then I, so he was a he's probably gonna get back to tank or something. Then yeah, so I yeah I'm assuming back to tank. Or Brandon even pointed out that it might be a different Grand Inquisitor, which would be kind of neat. He looks the same though. How? That would be my he's, thing. He's what is he a clone? Well, I'm just uh, maybe another person from his uh, species is also an Inquisitor that rises well, through see, the ranks. You know, I just I think Grand he's not Inquisitor dead. Con- there. There might be another one because there was one in the animated series Clone Wars. Yeah. Whenever they were fighting over the light and the the all powerful, that's oh. when they actually get a first look at right. Darth Vader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was such a cool out, story. Oh, that was great. That was and then such it a it just story. turns out they're just sleeping. Or yeah, whatever. with the brother and the sister. But I was thinking, but then they end up that ends up being a real guy. They end up finding him. Yeah. Later. I think it, I mean it could be a different maybe it could be a different inquisitor or grand inquisitor but 
but uh, they do you know be, his, it needs to be explained. Do you know his background though? I didn't know this either. The Inquisitor? Yeah. Uh yeah, he was a temple guard. Yeah. He was a temple guard during uh Soka's trial, I think. Yes, that's what I think he was, was there for like, Soka's so... trial. So he's he shouldn't be that powerful then. Well, um cuz they all of the inquisitors are force sensitive. Yeah, but what I'm saying is they shouldn't be which I guess that also, that makes sense of why they couldn't sense anybody. Right, yeah. But at the same time like they're not Jedi masters. They're, they're not masters. They're they're not they're almost not even Padawan from what I read they're almost not even Padawan. Well, some of them, um, some of them were Jedi's that defected. So I guess some of them were full blown mm. Jedi. But he I, wasn't. What I'm saying, he wasn't. He was he, a temple. He guard. should. They're they should, they're afraid of him when they shouldn't because he's not right. Because I mean, he has the record though. He has a track record. He yeah. kills Jedi and he's uh, good at it. <laughs> it. Reminds me. I know we're coming up short, but um, oh, we are. Uh, I want to say is everybody some somehow everybody's upset. I don't know if you read this, but everybody's upset because the episode starts out with a school shooting. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's hear. Uh, okay. Let me say what I want to say first. Okay. <laughs> um. That they shot this before this even happened for one. Yes. So they ain't yes. gonna cut it out because no. it explains what it's happens. important. You know, it's, it's very important, important. To the story. especially because I think that youngling, one of the younglings, is the girl inquisitor. That's a theory. So that's a theory. That's another thing. They I hope they explain why does she hate him so much because I don't know. I I think I think that that's my theory, and that would be why she hates him because he left. He wasn't there during the temple to protect him. Oh, uh, well. But uh, anyways. Yeah, um, go ahead. Yeah, I, they, they shot it beforehand. It's important to the story. You know, it's not them being insensitive. And it wasn't... I mean, I see it more as Jedi training than school. I didn't, I didn't even realize it. You know, when I said that, like I like when that showed up, I never once crossed my mind. No, I didn't either until someone actually pointed it out. Until like, you just said it, I didn't know. Yeah, I was like, school shooting. What are they talking about? Like, oh my gosh, they're talking about the temple. Are you kidding me? Yeah, get out of guys. here. I understand it's a hard time right now, but you can't. Don't point stuff like. Don't make it's, things. It's that, that are cancel not. culture thing. They're Gosh. making. They are. They're. That's exactly. What, they're making it something it's not. Golly, I mean, even if it was, I mean, people make. Rick and Morty actually shot a episode with Pearl Harbor and yeah nine eleven. Did anybody say anything then? No. 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 So everybody could shut their mouth about this because it wasn't even close to the. I mean, I literally had to sit there and think about it. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't call that a school shooting. I did like the recap at the beginning of it. Oh, the I complete loved recap it. of the of the prequels. Loved it. Gorgeously cut together. Yes. So well. Fantastic. But. So uh, that reminds me. On that, uh, I guess I don't remember this. But in the original, supposedly it was only in theaters. Whenever we first saw it, do you remember whenever he cuts Anakin? And the first thing he, I guess the first thing he says is help me before he started going on. Like when? As soon as he cuts him, he falls down. Oh, at the, at the, at, the fight. In the, on yeah, the, on at the uh, end of the fight. Okay. And must have Yeah. Yeah. Supposedly when he, he goes, help me. And then that. It's muted out now. You can obviously see it. I didn't know this until really. Some, so like, I think it was a TikTok or um, what's in, it was actually an Instagram, but oh okay, Instagram, the Instagram TikTok things. Yeah, but you can honestly see him say like, "Help me!" And I was really, like, they're like, "This was only shown in theaters after that." Uh, George Lucas didn't like the cut, so he had it muted for DVD and everything else. I had no clue. I had 
no clue. So, I, like, when, when we Anakin's falling and catching on fire in the lava. Yes. He says, help me. Yes. I, I didn't know that. Um, I don't even know. We don't really have enough time to really. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I believe you. I, I will go and look. Yeah. Oh. Well, um, I'm thinking we should probably start wrapping up here. Yeah. You can show me that video after. Yeah. Well, all I'm right. just trying to pull it up. Right. Um, all right. So, um, anything else going on? I, um, oh, so, an update. I've been testing with the camera. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, didn't know I pressed it. Copyright. Them. No. <laughs> that was my stomach. <laughs> uh, this sounds an awful lot like a droid. <laughs> Hey, you don't know what I've had done. <laughs> um, I've been uh, messing around with the camera and everything. It, I don't know. It's still up in the air. The programs are working fine. Mm-hmm. I've got it to where it will do it. It's, um, we will have to shoot it. If we do do this, it will have to be a shotgun mic. So the audio, it'll be Ooh. okay. But, I mean... It's going to have, I mean, it'll Why, pick up everybody. What, what? Um, could we not do lapel mics? So I was thinking of that. My, it's going to be hard for me okay. to match. Does that make sense? Right. Okay. You have to match. And yeah. that means we'd have to cook them up to this. And we already have enough trouble with these mics. That's true. So I don't. I mean, we. I can see that. Yeah, so we'll play around with it. Trust me, if I had a lot, if there was a lot more to my budget, I would absolutely put it all into this show. But I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have um, things to pay for. Um, but a shotgun mic, it worked fine. It's just if we all talk at once, no one's gonna catch a thing. Right. That's the only thing. Yeah. So other than that, we should be fine. Um, plus it just makes it easier on me. Um. And I won't have to match because it's already in the video. Right. Um, but So we'll uh, play around with it. Get yeah. it figured out. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about having challenges too. Just off camera. You know what I mean? Like laugh challenges and stuff. Yeah. So I'm thinking about having those here soon. Yeah. Doing more. I like the games. Yeah. I, I think thought we, about. I think we almost. I almost decided to bring a game. But then I was like, no, nah, we have a lot to talk about. Uh, I say let's do those off can't like make them like like an actual video like an actual video of just yeah. it yeah that'd be fun i kind of want to do a new it way. sucks it sucks for the pod, pod or spotify but, but they can go to they can go to the youtube then go to the youtube and yeah. watch that i think it'd be fun to do uh like a newlywed game you know the newlywed game yeah like what weston and Good. I, can, I think I can... it'd be pretty cool if you and i did it because we go way all oh way back gosh. you know what i mean okay that's not what i was thinking of but okay i understand Oh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking of like an actual newly new, but I was like, but you're not married yet. No, 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 no. I, I think like me and you doing the newlywed game would be fun. And that happens. We will have that though for you, have you and you two and Dell, you know, how, you know, like the actual newly. Yeah. 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 Okay. That'd be fun. There, there'll be a lot. I, I really want to do a lot more off camera stuff though. That's, that's yeah. my point of getting out there. I'm really, we, uh, we should be getting to, we're still talking about it. This month, I really want that s- wiffle ball. Yeah, I really want wiffle ball. It'll be fun. We'll find a time. Yeah. We'll start setting it up. All, all right, right, guys. Uh, so that's that's all I had to say. But uh, yeah, I mean that's that's our episode for the week. Yeah. <laughs> episode thirty-two, thirty-two weeks. Wow. Thanks for listening and uh, enjoy your guys' week. Happy more Memorial Day. Let me say it again. Happy <laughs> Memorial Day. See ya.